Hello, fabulous people. I am Donietta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are a return viewer, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, I appreciate you too. I hope that you enjoy yourself. Before we get started, let's make this thing official. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And when you subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you'll be aware every time I upload a new video. If you don't know when I upload a new video, then there's no fun in that. So let's make this a long lasting and loving relationship. Let's be committed to each other. So today I am gonna be reviewing the blue hair paint wax. If you are familiar with me and following me on social media, or if you've seen any of my previous YouTube videos, then you know that the first YouTube video that I actually did for this channel was the gold hair paint wax. I loved it, it was an easy application process. If you wanna know how to go about it, I'll put the link for that one down below. I love hair paint wax. It's an easy application. It washes out really easily. It does not stain my hands. It washes off just like a hair gel would wash off. So it was relatively easy to get off with just using soap and water. So this is actually the third hair paint wax color that I've tried. First was gold, then I did silver, and now this blue. And I know I say this every time I try one, but I think this one is my favorite color so far. Um, I like how it pops. Um, it's just, so if you can see, before I put it in my hair, it's actually like a Smurf blue shade. But of course, because my hair is dark, it's gonna settle in a lot darker on my hair. If your hair is lighter, then obviously the, the hues and the color, they're gonna pop a lot more and it is actually gonna probably resemble more like it does in this jar. So, and I also wanna show you, so my hair is relatively short. This is my first time using it and I haven't used a lot in the jar. What I did different from this application process um, compared to when I did the gold and the silver is I applied it through my hair using the same technique that I did for the gold application. But what I did is once I got it all through my hair, I went back through a second time. And I did that because as I mentioned, my hair is really dark. And so I really wanted this blue to pop and show up. And I'm so glad that I did that because as you can see, it is on and popping. Y'all, I'm giving baby mama drama without the baby or the baby daddy. Ow. So this time I applied it, let's see, the last time that I washed my hair was maybe three days ago when I applied both the gold and the silver, I applied it on a one day old wash and go. So this is a three day old wash and go. I still have my curl definition. Um, it still looks really good. I hope you can see that. We'll say when I applied the silver, I did try to just style my hair using the hair paint wax as my styler, but my curl pattern is so tight. Um, I'm for sure probably in the four curl type category if you're familiar with the different curl type patterns. And so for me, it was a no-go. I have seen people style their hair and all that they've used is a leave-in conditioner and or the hair paint wax but I for sure need to do a leave-in conditioner, a hair gel, and then the hair paint wax. So again, this is about a three day old wash and go. I went through, I made sure that my hair was, actually I wet it in the shower this time. Real quick, I didn't drench it. I just wanted to be a little bit wet. When I got out of the shower, I immediately started finger combing, finger raking the blue hair paint wax through my hair. I saw that I liked it and I had it evenly distributed and then I went back through a second time. So even though I did two applications of it throughout my hair, you can see that I didn't use a lot. I probably still have enough in this jar to do three, four, maybe five more applications, depending on how many layers of it I do. Um, and that's gonna depend on how bold I want the color to be. So the funny thing about it is I styled my hair this morning and working from home, as many of you all know, and if you've watched any of my TikTok videos, and if you haven't, I need you to go ahead and do that too. Um, we have a lot of Zoom meetings. We have a lot of video conference calls. And so I thought I was done for the day. I had one this morning. You know, I got on, I, my hair was not this color. It was the natural color that it is. So I did that, I did some other work. And during lunch, I was like, let me go ahead and put this hair paint wax in my hair, right? And so I do that and I'm sitting here letting it dry. 
a notification comes up on my Outlook saying that I have a conference call in five minutes. And I was like, oh, I forgot. It was a rather late conference call, like 5 p.m. conference call. And then so I open it up and I click the link. It's a video conference, y'all. Now, <laughs> if you don't know me personally, I work in the finance, real estate, affordable housing industry. So it's not necessarily an uptight industry, but I don't necessarily want to walk around meeting clients with blue hair. And so the clients that I was video conferencing with today, I had never met them in person. And so I had to dial in on that thing and just have my camera off. I hope they like the way my voice sounded because it was mm -mm. <laughs> I have nothing but great things to say about hair paint wax. I actually have two more colors that I want to try. I have green and red. And to be honest, I think I'm going to go ahead and order the purple. I like the way that one looks. I've been seeing it on a lot of people. And then eventually, I think what I want to do is I think I want to mix multiple colors. Like, so do some of my coils in green and then alternate with blue and then like go, maybe I'll do green, blue, and purple one day, depending on like how much time I have and my patience. Because again, I'm always running late and I sort of kind of don't like to take a long time to get ready or do hair, makeup, and all that. So we're going to pray about that and like see where it goes. But again, I just wanted to come on here, do this video, show you all my awesome blue hair. I hope that you love it. I really want to say that I appreciate those of you who have been trying out the different colors and tagging me in your photos when you post them. I absolutely love to see what you all have been doing with the hair paint wax and trying the different shades. And I really appreciate you taking my advice and trusting me enough to try it for yourself. You all look beautiful. I really appreciate it. You guys are priceless. You really, really are. If you try some new colors, let me know. Tag me in the photo that you post. I'm gonna look at and respond to every one of them. Please, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once you subscribe, turn those notifications on, and that way you'll always be in the loop when I upload a new video. If you know somebody that could benefit from this, please forward it to them and ask them to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as well and turn the notifications on. If you are not aware, I do have a blog. It is Dietta, which is an abbreviated version of my name, Donietta. So it is Dietta.com. I'd love it if you go read some of my blog posts. Let me know what you think. When everybody comments, I always make it a point to respond to your comments. I love hearing feedback. I love interacting with you all. And so it is a lifestyle blog where I just share all of the things that I love. So I have talked about everything from my marching and protests around racial injustice and Black Lives Matter. I've talked about being a curly top. I've discussed trips that I've taken. I've discussed new makeup that I'm trying and just being a fabulous person in general. And I know that you all are fabulous people too and so you can appreciate it. Go over there and subscribe to the newsletter. I try to send out a bi-weekly newsletter to keep you all in the loop just in case you don't check the blog every day. And the Material does vary a little bit from what's on this YouTube channel. With my blog, I'm able to get into more in-depth talk topics and elaborate a little bit more. And I do blog about things that I don't make YouTube videos about. And so we can make this like one big family affair and just stay connected in all ways. I hope that you all have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Stay blessed.